Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Analytical Guy. Today I'll be discussing about one of the most trending topics in technology environment that is analytics. First, I'll start with what is analytics and how it is used in your personal life. Then I'll move on to discuss about various types of analytics. Third, I'll discuss about analytics life cycle. And lastly, I'll discuss about various tools that are used at various stages of analytics. Guys, this video will be highly informative and interesting. So please tune in till the end. So now I'll just define what is analytics. As per Wikipedia, analytics is the systematic computational analysis of data or statistics. It is used for the discovery, interpretation and communication of meaningful patterns in data. In simpler words, it is concerned with turning raw data into insights for making better decisions. Now moving on to the types of analytics. There are three types of analytics. First is descriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics is the interpretation of historical data to better understand changes that have occurred in a business. It describes the usage of the range of historic data to draw comparisons such as year on year sales, month on month sales, total revenue per subscriber so and so forth. Second, what is predictive analytics? It looks at the current and historical data patterns to determine if those patterns are likely to emerge again. This allows businesses and investors to adjust where they are currently to take advantage of possible future events. Right, so example is weather forecasting, translating voice to text. Now coming on to the third analytics, it is prescriptive analytics. It relies on artificial intelligence techniques such as machine learning, the ability of a computer program without additional human input to understand and advance from the data it acquires, adapting all the way. Now we are coming into the third part of this video, the life cycle of analytics. So the first phase of life cycle is discovery. So first we'll focus on the goal. What are the resources that we have to put in data, people and time and finally identifying the problem. So we'll just define the problem statement. Second phase would be data preparation. This is the phase where you'll be conditioning your data, cleaning, selecting. So once the raw data is curated, this data would be fed into the third phase that is model planning. So model planning contains the methods and techniques such as ARIMA. The selection of variables also happens in this phase. Once the methods and techniques are selected, so this would be fed into model building. We'll de develop data sets for testing, training and production purpose. The finally execution of model happens in this phase. Once model building is done, so we'll communicate whether the project was successful or not. So the key findings, business value and summarized narrative to stakeholders takes place. Finally, operationalize. So final deliverables would be there. We'll provide all the project summaries, objective ideas, whatever happened and briefing would be done in this phase. Overall, there are th six phases and uh, discovery, data preparation, model planning, model building, communication result, operationalize. All these six phases makes the life cycle of analytics. There are some popular tools which are used in various phases of analytics. Uh, one is uh, the most popular uh, tool that is Microsoft Excel. It allows you to explore, analyze smaller data sets. Then coming on to the Microsoft Power BI tool, it allows you to visualize your data with dashboards on larger data sets. Uh, then there is Python language th that allows you to build statistical models that can make predictions about your data. Uh, then finally, SQL, it allows you to communicate and interact with various databases. I 
I'll just wind up this video with a very famous quote from John Owen. He says that data is what you need to do in analytics. Information is what you need to do business. So ultimately, all the business leaders are focusing on information to make data driven decisions. This information is curated from raw data through various analytics tools. All right. So in my coming videos, I'll discuss more about analytics in India, how it is being used in FMCG, CPG companies with various use cases. Till then, thank you for watching this video and goodbye.